People who say that they're affected by this increasing amount of 21st century technology are finding it increasingly difficult to get away from it, especially in a densely populated area such as southern England. So-called Wi-Fi refugees come to spots like this, an isolated area in Hampshire, to try and get away from it all. A second man has been arrested on suspicion of the murder of a woman in Worthing. Police were called after the 50-year-old was found dead in her flat. Using such diverse waste products as maize, potatoes and even chocolate and breakfast cereals, local farmers and businesses have come up with this. It pongs a bit, but it's worth its weight in gold. No one would actually appear on screen, but they did send us this message. The overall scientific evidence does not support the suggestion that such exposure causes acute symptoms or that some people are able to detect radio frequency fields. And that really sets the theme because we're going to lose high pressure. It's going to move out of the way. But before we get there, Thursday is going to be sunny. You can see the clouds beginning to come in from the west and the south and that rain coming our way. High pressure, losing control, the cold weather front coming across us and temperatures really dipping down along with this associated wind and rain. Well, we're on Bristol ferry boat in the harbour. I've just been looking at the insurance certificates there and it tells us that only 50 of us can board this boat. Any more than that and it's going to be unsafe. This is a scheme that was running in Taunton. It worked very successfully there. Hopefully it's going to work well here. Vanita Lockwood flew for the international precursor of British Airways, BOAC. She recalls the glamour of it all. And back to any home across our region. But there'll be nowhere that you could taste it. The pumpkins in my basket are very mushy. But they make marvellous soup. Now I knew I had my man, I asked Ernie why he was up for sale. In Portsmouth tonight, never want to miss a party, the naming of HMS Clyde this evening, Mike. Absolutely, Roger, and I'm afraid we've had a look at the list of VIPs up there and we can't find your name anywhere, so I don't know how they're going to tell you this, mate, but you're not invited, which is a pity because they all get a VIP bag. That is mine there. We'll just walk down the red carpet here to where the champagne is going to be launched to name HMS Clyde later on. And I've got to be very careful the way that I gesticulate in case I launch the champagne prematurely. And a few days ago, you said that you could smell autumn in the air. I, I think that was me just coming back into the building. <laughs> but you, you, you're not at all. Right. Uh, far off because meteorologically autumn started yesterday uh, but of course the autumnal equinox comes at the end of the month and uh, it's all very complicated isn't it? Well you don't often see a dentist from this kind of angle do you? I've always wanted to say this this ain't gonna hurt a bit just say ah ah 